In the very first of the AFA shows back from April of 1984, we took a look at how the American media and also the, the worldwide media painted a very rosy picture of not only the Third Reich but fascist Italy. People ranging from Hermann Goering to Joachim von Ribbentrop, the Nazi foreign minister, to Mussolini himself uh, were in a position to write op-ed columns for some of the uh, Western media assuring everyone of their benevolent and peaceful intentions. This due to the fact, basically, that some very, very powerful corporate and uh, financial elements were allied with the fascist powers of Europe and Asia. Uh, the Bush family were one of those uh, the families that helped to support fascism. And just as the powerful corporate links to the European fascism of the World War II period led to an overly uh, benevolent and far less critical portrayal of fascism in the Western media. So, too, the very powerful economic and political links are also leading to what, in my opinion, is a, a dangerously inaccurate characterization, characterization of the Great Reset. Uh, I would strongly encourage members of the listening audience to contact Spitfire, get a hold of uh, AFA programs 1 and 2. Take a look at that benign media portrayal of international fascism in the World War II period and compare it with what we're seeing today.